One of the most recent cases of a female serial murderer is that of Kimberly Sines. Kimberly was born in Texas in 1973 as Kimberly Clark Fowler. Despite her parents' best efforts to instill traditional, wholesome values in their children, Kimberly had gotten into early trouble with the law. As a teenager, Sines was described as being overly quiet, and while she was present, didn't appear to be all there. During high school, she became involved with a popular student and allegedly became pregnant on purpose in order to get him to marry her. The marriage ended in divorce just six years later. Kimberly remarried while she was pregnant for the second time with her new husband's child. Her new husband was a known felon, but his criminal past did little to dissuade her from marriage. Sines attended nursing school after the birth of her second child and graduated soon after. Her subsequent employment was erratic at best, and she was not able to hold a nursing job for more than a few months. One such reason for being fired was for stealing narcotics. When she came upon her fourth nursing job at a dialysis clinic within one year of her first nursing job, Signs began to experience deep depression and had suicidal thoughts. She also gave misinformation about her work history in order to land her new work. Despite this, she was generally admired by her patients. She eventually found new employment at a dialysis clinic in Texas. Kimberly would show up late to work or miss an entire day completely. While divorcing her second husband, Signs would murder five of her patients by injecting bleach into the dialysis machines. When she went about her deeds, the patients would code and would have to be rushed to the hospital. Many of Kimberly's co-workers took note that she appeared to be calm and even indifferent to her patients' situations whenever they coded. She callously ignored other nurses' pleas for her to assist them while she smoked a cigarette. Kimberly's victims were older patients with their own set of extensive medical problems. In spite of this, the five deaths happening in rapid succession quickly drew suspicions to her. Signs was even seen by at least two witnesses injecting bleach into the dialysis machines in two failed attempts to murder. Signs was arrested in 2008 and was put on trial. During witness testimony, Sines was said to be in high spirits and was seen smiling at the victims' as families. Former co-workers testified that Sines not only hated her job, but hated some of her patients too. These patients just so happened to be her victims. Other testimony included internet searches for bleach poisoning on the Sines family computer. After a lengthy trial, Kimberly Sines was ultimately found guilty on three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and one count of capital murder for five people, all of whom were tried for at the same time. It was only at this time that Sines began to weep. At her sentencing, Kimberly was no longer in a happy mood and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, the jury opting not to recommend the death penalty. The daughter of one of the victims was quoted saying the next day, I hope you burn in hell. Supporters of Signs continue to profess her innocence and believe that she is a victim of a conspiracy. Other supporters come in the form of trying to explain her motives as mercy killings. Another supporter was an alternate jury member who did not get to vote on the verdict. She believed that the defense was inadequate. In prison, Sines created personal ads, calling herself sexy and tough. Her defense plans on appealing her case to the 12th Court of Appeals of Texas.